Yo, it's Death for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Yo, check this out, gang. Hey, before I even start, shout out Loyalty and Betrayal. Y'all go subscribe to that YouTube channel. They definitely releasing some documents that um I ain't seen before, you feel me? Like, they on top of it, you know what I'm saying? But um, this whole situation with Kenny Mack. Now, the other day we reported that Los Mana had made statements and they was trying to strip it from the record you know that's what the lawyers were saying we also played leak audio of the lawyer basically saying um at the initial bond hearing what they had you feel me but now it's being released as of 9 15 right that on february 19 2021 the defendant kenneth had made statements and they trying to get this stripping off the record as well these statements was made back in February 19, 2021. Now, the crazy part is, is that um, they also saying that if Kenneth decide to go on the stand to speak on his behalf to maybe help his case, you know, on his end as being a defendant, they will bring out them statements. Now, what's even strange is, is that Trench's news, you remember, his whole deal was with Kenny Mack. Saying that Kenny Mack had um, sent him text messages, maybe even called him while he was in jail. You feel me? And at the time, we probably didn't think this didn't mean anything. Now, people been saying that Trench's news is probably in witness protection and he's still working to this day. You feel me? But these statements, as you can see on the screen, fam, it's clear as day. You know what I'm saying? They saying on February 19th, arguing that the statements was made for the stress of the right of counsel and should be denied. You know, because they saying that basically he made them statements and he didn't he didn't have proper legal counsel, things of that nature. You feel me? But I'm telling you, remember Trench's news said that. He got picked up by the feds too in regards to Kenny Mack. So did Kenny Mack include Trench's news and now they all working together with the FBI? I don't know. Y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think. But I'm pretty sure when a person makes statements, that means that they're cooperating with the investigation. And that was made in February of 2021. Now, this is the second member of the old Block 6 that it came out. That the feds is saying that they made statements. Uh, shit is crazy, family. Y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation when it comes down to Kenny Mack and these statements that he made. You feel me? Um, we got Los Mona, Los, um, basically saying that you know he's cooperating the fact that that was his car and um, you know he had picked up the car from whatever dealership. They also um, got the correspondence when he telling the young lady to go get the car back from CPD because they had got it and probably impounded it, you know. And um, it's just a sad situation because there's a lot of stuff that's going to come out, you know, RP, FBG, Duck, when it comes down to this, you know. Um, it was definitely a murder that took place in Chicago downtown era, area. And um, at the end of the day, they ain't playing, family. They bringing out all the muscle. So y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. It's Death of the Cloud Chaser TV. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Share this on Facebook and Twitter. Gang.